The opportunity is there this week for a major shakeup of the Big 12 title race. If Baylor can knock off Oklahoma, I'm not really seeing that this week. I think Oklahoma will stand pat atop the league standings all by their lonesome. Welcome into the YouTube channel. I am John Kurtz. It is time for my weekly picks. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I talk Big 12 football and conference realignment all week here on this channel. Big 12 picks, new and old. We get the American teams and BYU, although they are off this week, that are coming into the league involved in the picks here as well. And we start off with the best game of the week. That is Oklahoma and Baylor. The game of the year to this point in the Big 12 on paper, number 8 OU at number 13 Baylor. Bears coming off of that loss to TCU last week. Oklahoma a 5.5 point favorite here. I'll cut to the chase. I think Oklahoma wins. I think Oklahoma covers and wins this thing by a touchdown. I know Baylor fans, I know all of you that have been on me all year for being too low on the Bears. I picked them to win last week, did I not? I picked them to be fine last week against TCU, and TCU jumps out of nowhere and beats Baylor. That is a TCU team that's been pretty dreadful this year. So I, I, I'm not saying this is any slight to Baylor. Dave Aranda is still my Big 12 coach of the year. But in Waco, you've had Joey McGuire leave. That's a distraction for Baylor to deal with now. Oklahoma's been hearing for two straight weeks with the playoff rankings about how bad they are as an unbeaten team and how disrespected they are. I think you'll get a very motivated Sooner squad here for all of those reasons in this game. It's an 11 a.m. kickoff. I think that takes away some of the juice from the visiting crowd. I just think Oklahoma will be able to pull this out, and I think they have something to prove here over the last three weeks of the regular season. So I will take the Sooners there. Baylor fans, I do not hate your team. I would... It would be fun to see them win. I mean, I, I am ostensibly rooting for Baylor here in this game because that would really shake things up and make it fun. I just I don't see the W here. Okay, 11 a.m. FS1, K-State and West Virginia. K-State's a six-and-a-half point favorite now in this game. This is a tough one for me. I mean, I, I t I'm taking West Virginia to cover, actually. I think K-State will win, but I think it will be very close. West Virginia's won five straight against K-State, and they have not been a discernibly better program over the last five years than K-State. It's just been that team that's had the Wildcats number, and they're frustrating losses like two years ago in 2019 in a very similar game. K-State was the better team, hoping to finish off with a nine-win regular season. They got beat at home by West Virginia. I think this will be a dogfight. West Virginia's been up and down this year in a tough read, tough to figure out. I think K-State will find a way to get it done, but it's going to be very, very close, and I am nervous about that game as a Cat fan. 2.30 on ESPN2, Iowa State at Texas Tech. Iowa State a 10.5 point favorite here on the road. There's some new life in Lubbock with Joey McGuire's hire. I'm not so sure how much of that will actually translate on the field. The fan base is certainly revitalized and rejuvenated, and that makes sense. Reluctantly, I'm going to take Iowa State here. I think it's a losable enough game for an Iowa State team that also has been pretty up and down this year themselves. Speaking of uneven teams, I think Iowa State will win this game by a couple of scores, though, over Tech. I just have not seen enough from Tech to make me fully get on board and believe in that uh, against Iowa State on Saturday. ESPNU 630, <laughs> Kansas at Texas. Texas a 31-point favorite here. I chuckle because it is, of course, Kansas beat Texas in football week where we honor uh, the one time that that did happen, Kansas knocking off the Texas Longhorns. My rule this year has been Kansas opponent minus anything, and it's only beaten me once. So I have to continue with it and say Texas minus the 31, even though that sounds ridiculous with all the distractions happening in Austin with the Bo Davis controversy, with the Monkey controversy, with the Joshua Moore controversy, not to mention a four-game losing skid for the Horns. I just, Kansas is bad enough. I saw firsthand in Lawrence last Saturday just how bad that defense is in particular. I think Texas will score some points. Oklahoma State hosts TCU at 7 o'clock on Fox. The 10th-ranked Cowboys are 12-point favorites here. I can see the case for TCU covering. Uh, they played much, much, much better last week, obviously, with Jerry Kill as the head coach. Knocked off Baylor. To me, that feels more like a one-off. Like They had one game like that in them, playing in that scenario after losing their head coach. There's a lot of emotion, I'm sure, that went into last week and that game. I think Oklahoma State's taking care of business right now. That defense is locking people down. Uh, I'll take the Cowboys to win by 14 to 17 points. Uh, this video being posted here on Friday. If you're watching it on Friday, it's obviously uh, ahead of the Cincinnati-South Florida game. Since he favored by 23 on the road, man, I have been 
like almost begging here on this channel for Cincinnati to come through, cover these games, get some style points, and it just has not been happening. So I'm going to turn it around and say that South Florida is going to cover this just because Cincinnati has struggled so much to do so, and that should be the elixir that turns things back around. I have not had a good read on Cincinnati all year long. I picked them to lose the Notre Dame game. So Cincinnati is going the opposite of everything I'm doing. I'm going to take Cincinnati to not cover so that they will cover, if you can follow my logic there. Very good game at 11 a.m. on ESPNU. UCF at SMU. That's 6-3 and three UCF that's coming back around, and now 7-2 and two SMU coming off of a loss. A couple of losses, in fact. I'm going to take UCF to cover this. I like the way that they're playing right now. I think they are kind of reborn here at this point in the season. And SMU seems distracted. A lot of talk about Sonny Dykes, their head coach, taking a different coaching job at the end of the year. I think that's affected them, and I'm going to take UCF. Maybe not to win the game outright, but I'm getting a full touchdown. I'm getting a full seven. I'm going to take that and run with it. Houston is at Temple at 11 a.m. on ESPN+. Plus. Houston, 24.5-point favorites. They've won eight straight. They're rolling right now. Temple's lost four straight games, and they have been in blowout fashion. Temple is not playing good football at all right now. I think it adds up to a Dana Holgerson cover for the Cougars. No BYU. They are off. So that'll do it. There are the picks for week 11. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like the video. Comment. Tell me I'm an idiot. If you are a Baylor fan and you're still mad at me, let me know in the comments. Uh, just address it there, and uh, let's keep it rolling. Follow me on Twitter at JL Kurtz, and I will talk to you guys soon.